आई एम सो सॉरी आई माई माइक वॉज नॉट ऑन अगेन नमस्ते ओला बॉन्जर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एज यू ऑल नो एंड टूडे वी ऑल आर हेयर फॉर द जेंटेंगल सेशन एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई आर्ट टेबल आई एम ऑल सेट आई होप यू ऑल आर ऑलरेडी सेट टू सो my co-host my husband ajay is also here with me hello ajay hey everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are it's such a nice beautiful morning for us here and we are so excited to be with you yes it's a beautiful morning and i'm also excited and i'm all set with all my supplies as you can see on my art table we are going to make a beautiful zentangle tile today and as you know we are going to start with a gratitude and appreciation and uh, especially today when i'm talking about the gratitude and appreciation i really want to share my this book and want to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me in my work this is my first ever book and i digitally drawn 35 mandalas inside it and people are buying it and sharing their work with me it's really awesome it's available on amazon okay so let's start our tile today so let's take a sneak peek it will be something like this and it's a beautiful abstract art before we start the tile first we are going to draw a few tangles on the smaller tile i'm going to use these bijou tiles they are a 2 inch square tile you can just draw on the side of the paper on your big general or general book or what wherever you are drawing so let's start we need a black marker pen a pencil and a tortillon for the shading so this is let's tangle together number 15 we are done with the 14 sessions so far isn't it awesome so our first tangle let's start with our first tangle which we are going to use today is quib It is a beautiful tangle. So we are going to draw these crescent kind of shape at the both sides as their terminals kind of. This is an organic tangle, and then lots of wavy parallel lines will. join to this so this is the one set so this is the first step and this is a zentangle original tangle and the second line you see it's going over and under like the holiba manner and i drew two strands so far we can draw as many as we want that's the fun of all of these pattern drawing that you can make these pattern in your own style especially in these organic tangles maybe i make one here So in this way we'll make strands they are kind of tangling with each other and then we can do the shading in this one we can make many more strands as many as we want 
so wherever it's kind of going behind in the corners we can do a little bit of shading to create the depth and the dimension like this and then we can just blend it lightly so this is our tangle quip This is my chop Nidhi Prakash and in the back of the side we can sign and date and any other thing if you want to write we can write there here is one more quib I did it earlier and they are kind of similar-ish so you can make them in any sizes any direction the way you want and now the next angle which we are going to do use today in our tile is Verdigog. It's a beautiful tree style kind of you know leaf style. And a rectangle, original tangle. This is it starts generally kind of the center wine of the leaf or the tree branch, whatever you want to call it, and then a lot of petals. In the current uh, rectangle project pack, they changed this verdigog leaf shape instead of this bead style. They made it kind of the rectangularish style, and that was also beautiful. So, uh, you know, triangles also kind of evolve by the time, and they keep changing uh, their. They get a lot of variations. on drawing again the same over and under and they are very rulish kind of the leaf they go in any direction and that's how they look pretty and original You keep filling the space this way. This is the Verdigog angle and you can draw them in various styles, two and three together. You can draw lines inside them in between like this and maybe you can just give shading at one side of it, or maybe at the both side, it depends how you are setting up. your tile
weird maybe you want to play shooting so here is the tangled wordy gog and whip so now i'm waiting for everyone to complete till here and write down in the chat when you guys are done till here and you can send me thumbs up or done in the chat yes valerie i also love this one this is beautiful uh you know leaf style organic tangle and it has a lot of variations it's beautiful beautiful Thank you. Yes, Valerie, this in this project pack they did it with the rectangular shape and that was also beautiful. Okay, so now let's start with our third angle. And the third angle is aesthetic. Again, like all other tangles, this tang this tangle also has a lot of variation. It can be very spiky and very zigzag and pointy, or it may be very wavyish. So let's see. Let's make wavyish here, and it's just wavy line. You know, it can be thick, thin, any irregular wavyish line, whatever way you want. And just a lot of parallel lines. I just turned it around so that I get a is a beautiful filler tangle or you can say like the line tangle and it has a lot of you know aura lines you keep on making these aura lines and maintain the shape like uh, in the paradox and a lot of other tangles where we just keep drawing the lines and whatever the line tangles are you just need to take care of the direction and the distance between the other line like in the paradox we draw the straight lines and we keep making it them slanted so this is a beautiful line tangle sometimes we use it as a texture tangles also and we can draw them until we fill our space. And you can make beautiful waves out of it. And the other variation is maybe you want to draw absolute, you know, the psyche. This is the second variation. This is the first style. In the other variation, you keep on drawing the very pointy. So, this is also aesthetic. And you keep filling the space. And whatever way you draw, this is a line tangle and a beautiful filler tangle. Maybe you can add some, you know, uh, decoration to it. Like maybe you can add some edging on the corners. Give them some dimension or some 
Respiration. He is waiting at the corner. Waiting lines at the corner makes a lot of change. shading maybe for the shading i want to create a little shading where i see these dip kind of thing and both of them just lay down i want to give a huge shout out to everyone who submitted shared their work and uh, shared work, your work with me more yesterday and the Friday we made this beautiful zendalas this Friday and this Saturday yesterday and day after and you guys did awesome beautiful uh, submission at Facebook at discord and Instagram those were awesome beautiful so this is aesthetic version one version two wavy and zigzag which one is your favorite wavy or the zigzag uh, vijay kumar wants to know if this is one of the original tangles i think she's talking about static this is a zen tangle original tangle Wavy can decide, Linda. I know it's difficult, and they both look so pretty. So sometimes, you know, when you are working on a very organic tangle or very uh, geometrical tile, so then you would prefer to use these one. If that is, if your tile is very fluid, so maybe you would prefer to use this wavy one. It depends how your mood is going and what kind of tile you are thinking in your mind. Let's start our today's main focused tangle. That's the Nar fellow tangle. Wavy, wavy, zigzag. Okay. Wavy. You like zigzag, Valerie? Awesome. So now the next tangle is so this is a little focused tangle. Again, the Zen tangle original tangle. Please look carefully before you start. We will do one one step. So first, again, we are going to make you know these wavy lines. This is the first step. I just made one wavy line. Nidhi, can you bring the camera closer to this tile, please? Better. and then again wavy line parallel wavy line kind of static but pretty far away so this is the first step or an R fellow and after this where they you see the hump of the second line we are going to join this top to this hump and maybe we can draw here it's going just to give it I'm just Assuming here is one line, so I'm just leaving it like that. This is the second step. After that, we are going to join this triangle here. A 
again we are going to join slanted this side and then This is this work kind of a string and now your imagination is unlimited how you want to fill these uh, you know uh, your reticulas your these uh, spaces so what I'm just doing here I'm just making these wavy lines these top ones I'm going to fill them as the you know as the Knights Bridge or the Checkers style I'm going to fill one and I'm not going to fill this other one which is kind of connecting I'm leaving one and I will fill one and I'm going to repeat the same thing I'm going to leave this whole section I want to say thank you to uh, whoever have supported me through patreon and joined me in the YouTube also and I just submitted one uh, new video at the patreon to show my thank you to everyone whoever have joined me and supported me if you support me through patreon or join me on youtube with okay above you can unlock a lot of videos at just once together all of the videos of the colored mandalas and colored zentangle these kind of art and lot of other dot painting all together and in this one what I'm going to do I'm just going to make one or a line and let, that's it I'm just going to leave it empty you can make this narfellow in your own style you can fill these beautiful sections in your own way and now it's the time to shade and don't worry Sneha I'm going to draw this uh, again in the tile okay if you didn't get it you can just skip this one right now and you can continue with me again when I'm going to draw this again in my actual tile because right now we are just practicing the tangles that's it and now after that we are going to start our tile uh, for anyone if you have joined us late uh, we have a DVR functionality built into the video so you can pause or go back even while the live session is up and continue to ask questions by chat and sub to the channel would be awesome uh, make sure you hit the like button uh, that helps us if you wish to join us uh, through YouTube, you will see a join button next to the subscribe button. Uh, it helps us uh, and you will have some member only videos. If you rather would want to support us through Patreon, let me know in the chat and I can send you the link to Patreon. Thank you Ajay and if you want you can use your white charcoal pencil and you can give a little bit more 
you know white right on the top that's it same you can give little white lines in the static to bring them a little bit more up and you can just so these are our and we are going to use some lot of you know circles the tipple also as a texture and the filler today so these are the five all tangles which we are going to use today now i'm waiting for a few seconds for everybody to catch up and is uh, aparna are you saying that quib is your favorite one because you wrote quib i'm not sure what you want to say and if you guys want to tell your favorite tangle so far did i leave anyone so we did narfello we did aesthetic vertigo tipple and quib where is the quib i remove the quib this is the quib so beautiful Oh, leafy one, leafy one is the word egog. Okay. So let's start tile. I'm going to use the Zentangle original tile. This is a three and a half inch square tile. You can use any kind of paper or tile, whatever you have. And the supplies I'm using in the session, all are. Uh, all supplies materials with their Amazon link is available in the description of the video which you are watching and I want to start with the first basic step of the Zentangle method with the gratitude and appreciation I want to say thank you to everyone whoever have joined me today and being a part of my this art journey and I'm also happy to be part of your art journey too so now let's start the second step is the corner dots Corner dots is with the pencil always. So I'm just making these four corner dots. Most of the times, or like it depends on the design of our tile. Sometimes we skip this step, sometimes we use this step. In our today's tile, we are going to use this corner dots and the borders. Borders is joining them if you want you can make them little wavy lines that is also absolutely fine draw your lines very light so that when you are kind of done with the tile they vanishes with the angles on its own so generally we don't use eraser in our rectangle tile but if you need you can use it so we are done with the border and now it's the time for the string so so far the string is we are going to draw our quib from here to here so this is for our quib and from inside of this here where we are going to draw our our fellow inside of these so this will be the kind of our today's string if you say kind of the swing and now it's the time to tangle and i'm using my micron zero pen for the tangling and the first tangle which we are going to draw right now is the quib here on the top so let's start for the quip first we are going to make these two descent shape and you see this quib is kind of going out of the frame these are kind of the hand terminal of our these beautiful angle 
this this uh, specific tangle is very uh, beautiful for when if you are making any underwater kind of scene it looks beautiful i have used it in one of my tile i'm it's coming to my mind i'm reminding right now so you can draw as many strands as you want just draw slow don't draw over the line We can stop here or maybe let's draw one more. Uh, let's pause about 30 seconds after this. Okay. This is the quib. There is another one, more, one more version, and they are kind of so the style of drawing is same, but still, every single time you will find it in a little different version. It will look different. Let me draw a little wider. want we can draw one more Now I'm stopping myself, otherwise I keep on drawing <laughs> this quip tangle. So this is quip guys and now I'm waiting for everybody to catch up till here. And jellyfish like, yes the strands of the jellyfish Linda, absolutely. These are the kind of two jellyfishes and their strands are kind of joining. After that, we are going to draw lots of pipple inside them as a filler. Draw tiny orbs, tiny circles and fill the space. Whatever the leftover space is. Draw tiny circles. these tiny circles one circle at a time draw slow make sure you are not going inside these strands take your time
For this, I'm making few, you know, these circles around them too. And they are not just one line-ish kind of, they are very random. Maybe two line, three line, one line. organic and spread apart this is a I just attached all these circles orbs to this web inside and outside kind of we made a one angle by joining two different angles little bit of angulation here there you go Very happy now. And now we'll draw our main focus angle after the quib and the tipple. We are done with the quib and the tipple. And now it's the time to draw the narfalo tangle. So if you missed last time, you can see me this time drawing the narfalo shall i start or do you guys want me to wait for a second you can call it a quip <laughs> because the quib and the tipple yes yes arishri that's a nice way of calling it start okay you wait okay so waiting for 30 seconds and after this quipple, the combination of the quib and tipple, we are going to start the narfalo. And while waiting, I just want to remind you, if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. And if you have not clicked the thumbs up button, please click the thumbs up button also. And it is absolutely free clicking on the thumbs up button and subscribing the channel. And next week, Saturday, we are going to do a colorful mandala. We are going to do this colorful peacock mandala next Saturday, coming Saturday. So, please be prepared with your supplies. Get the materials in the video description of this one at the YouTube. And we are working on a 9 inch square paper as well as we need few color pencil. Okay, now let's start the narfalo. I just kept it a little slanted so that I can see it clearly. And you can see I'm starting my narfalo is kind of, you know, going all the way from the here. I'm stopping. This is the one which we are making right now.
parallel lines and it's kind of you know crossing below going below this quib and the triple first i'm just working in this bottom part then i'll make on the top part which pen number are you using nadi there's a question from kripa i'm using micron 01 I'm just leaving it empty like here. And now it's your choice how you want to fill them. So in these three here, I'm going to make a tangle. Uh, so a comment from Alvina. I think she's not able to see the work because the chat is coming on top of it. So anyone who is watching this video on a cell phone. Uh, I know it's difficult to follow because the chat keeps coming over the video. Uh, there is an easy way out. Uh, bring your phone back to portrait. Uh, you will see an option to turn off the chat. Only when you bring it back to portrait, turn off the chat and make the phone back to landscape. You will not see the chat on top of video. Thank you. You see now I'm filling the narfalo in a little different way with the pepper angle If you want you can fill exactly this way if you want you can fill this different style what i'm doing right now i'm filling these blocks with the angle name pepper the lines little wavyish each side and then weight them at the corner give them little weight in the corner Now if you want you can fill this whole tile like this pepper in all the blocks or maybe we can fill the other ones again with the wavy lines like this Like this, tap it.
you guys are hearing any sniffing or the snoring sound that's the dog she is sleeping here nicely as if i'm telling some story to him <laughs> these parallel wavish line if you want you can fill the or fill all these you know sections with these pepper tangle also it's absolutely your choice so maybe if you have any other tangle in your mind you can use it as your filler tangle Just turning it around, and as I see here, it's kind of coming, so I'm going to make this line wavy here. And let's make one pepper here. I'm staying inside our these you know boundary lines which we drew as the border line I'm just making these lines little thicker with a little thicker tip pen I'm using micron 08 now and going over these lines to make them little thick because after drawing so many tangles inside these lines are kind of you know loosening up there After this, with the same thick pen, I'm just making one boundary at each side, one or a line. I'm keeping my thick pen back. I will grab my same micron 01 for the next angle at this side. I'm waiting for everyone. I hope everyone is catching up well and we are done with the narfellow with a little different style. We are done with the quib and the tipple. And I can't wait to see your uh, work guys because I really want to see how you filled your narfellow tangle. Either that's this way, this way or your own style. I would love to see how it's looking and 
now what i'm doing i'm just using my pen and here where this circle of this nar these pepper is i'm just going doing little you know these flicking around them little tiny flicking just to give them a little bit more dimension and depth in the center in the where the near center part is that is it and now is the time to draw the wordy gog so here in this both section first we are going to draw the wordy gog and then we will draw the static in the background so for the wordy gog i'm starting from this here in the corner and this center vein is kind of you know going little out of this frame here and this is the leaf which is going out and now it's the time to draw a lot of these leaf shapes seed style let them grow in any direction wherever they are going They are going little out of the frame let them be this is kind of the one layer of the body gog and now i'm going to draw another layer of the leaves those are kind of going over and up under and above you can see these two different styles of the body gog here and you can decide what kind of leaf what direction you want to grow them They are kind of going in any direction. Still you need to be very focused. That's the best part of these kind of pattern drawing. That you cannot lose your focus. Although you are repeating the same thing again and again. In various different style. The, but it is still the same the same style that's why it's a pattern drawing or the abstract art and after drawing this I'm just drawing few kind of you know leaf which is flying in the air or little you know going away and from this whole twig and we are going to draw the same kind of verdigog to the other side it's going in this direction first draw the vein so if you missed that side the steps you can see me here again
the kind of the first layer and now I'm going to draw If you want you can keep drawing at the both side if you want you can just complete at the one side and then come back again for the next side it's your choice how you want to draw how you are comfortable drawing same way I'm going to draw few loose leaf which are kind of you know falling or that's it so we are done with the vertigog and now it's the time to draw the static so I'm waiting for everyone and you can decide whichever static you want to draw in this remaining section as the base we are done with the quib with the narfalo with the vertigog as well as with the tipple and now we are going to draw the static that would be our last angle for this tile isn't it a very easy tile easy yes awesome so now I'm going to use this wavy style of static to fill the rest of the area here under the static under the vertigog you can choose whichever uh, style you want so I'm just drawing in the whatever the leftover area is you see between these leaves so static is kind of working as a filler tangle for me right now If you organize your tangles you can keep this tangle in the filler tangle or in the texture tangle or maybe in the line tangle it depends how you are categorizing them one tangle can fall into my various categories actually and I'm stopping at this border which we drew with the pencil at the very beginning in our third step I don't really want to lose the wavyish direction of the tangle because of these leaves so what I'm doing I'm just making one you know now I have the proper direction where to draw my these parallel lines So 
when right now while drawing them what is coming to my mind is they are kind of working this static is kind of working as a air kind of like you know there is air in the environment and then this is the tree branch and then leaves are kind of flowing in the air air waves I'm working on the other side Again, I'm doing here first this wavy line so it becomes easier for me to draw at this corner first and now I will fill the rest of the area where these leaves are. Take your time. I think I'm done drawing. I don't see anything is left. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> Flowing in the water. Yeah, you can say it's water or air, the floating flowers, or some water animals, this this kind of jellyfish. And now it's the time for the shading. Thank you word packs. So if you become the oak member or at the this if you become the oak member at the YouTube or if you support me through the Patreon, you can unlock lot of uh, videos, lot of uh, you know pre-recorded these kind of mandala sessions. You can unlock all the videos of live session recording of these artworks all together as soon as like you subscribe either oak in the youtube or oak in the patreon and there are many more apart from these are there lot of acrylic dot art or the colored Zentangle inspired art and yesterday also I added one uh, artwork and I made a post in my Facebook also of that artwork okay so let's start shading so first we are going to shade in our quib where over and under And I'm doing a little bit shading around them also, you know, on the corners. So 
very lightly very very lightly ever so light in between these spaces You can draw this uh, whole artwork in a bigger tile also with a bigger tip pen. And then I'm just going to blend them over and under. Be careful. This is quib and see when you shade it, it looks so beautiful and it looks kind of complete. And now let's shade in these beautiful narfalo tangle. There are various various ways of drawing this narfalo tangle unlimited in you know style of working on this tangle this is just one style which we explored today i really wanted to keep it very easy and simple today because we are doing it first time in this session maybe in future session we can use little complicated style of the narfalo let's see so don't forget to share your work and i really want to see uh, how you guys filled and worked on this beautiful tangle I'm going to lay down a little bit in the center here also Yes, Patreon app is everywhere all around the world. You can you can subscribe to the Patreon from anywhere in the world. as soon as you subscribe me through the patreon you will unlock all the videos at once you will see all the video links at once and you can see all the patreon only posts Yesterday one mom sent her daughter's picture to me working on my uh, coloring book and uh, she was doing beautiful. She is just 11 years, her daughter, and she was enjoying coloring my book and that was really beautiful. And this that is the fun, like although we call them adult relaxation coloring book, but you know anyone can enjoy coloring these books, especially the one uh, which I made just this one, Mandala World. I give them instructions to shade also like if you want you can just shade your book like if you see this corner so if you just want you can practice for the shading if you want you can do coloring of course this is the coloring book but you can just do shading also like the one like the way we are doing right now so that's your choice how you want to do that okay now I'm doing shading in the verdigog. So in these 
I am just doing, you know, in not over the leaves. Rather, in these leftover kind of areas in between the leaf so that these leaves will kind of you know come up and brighten up more if you want you can draw lines in between the leaves like this or you can shade them like this it's your choice i'm doing it third style i didn't draw the line and I'm not shading over it like this or this, rather I'm shading inside of them and on the outside also. Very lightly on the border. And you know these leaves I really want to draw their shadow is kind of falling little apart as if it's in the air. I'm just shading around the corners also to bring them a little forward this vertigo over the static and a little bit shading you know alongside with this double line of this narfalo on the border the border of these tipple and now I'm going to do the same thing this side I'm doing the same kind of shading this side the borders A 
around them. And now I will make shade for our these leaves which are kind of you know loose so the shadow is little further apart going further away and now I'm just making little border little blending of this border inside not outside that's it and we are kind of done with this tile I'm really happy working on this tile I hope you all also enjoyed working with me and feel felt the same way I'm going to take a picture of this tile and I'm going to make a post on YouTube on my Facebook so please share your work there now it's the time for the initial and sign so I'm writing my chop here my initials I arranged them and P Nidhi Prakash with the heart and the smiley and I can give a little shading the heart and the smiley also and today's date is you can share your work with these tangles with these hashtags I'm signing my name with a little thicker pen on the back And today's date is 6 27 2021 and you can write down all those hashtag let's tangle and this one is 15 let's tangle 15 right Nidhi Prakash art then tangle let's tangle today's date 06 27 2021 and you can write down let's tangle 15 the number of the session whatever your other hashtags are along with that so i want to extend my thank you to everybody and i really enjoyed working on this tile don't forget to share your work with me at facebook on instagram or where whichever social media you are using you can use your hashtags and see you next week friday saturday sunday friday we are going to make do you want to see the art for the friday this is the friday art we are going to do 
in my Hindi session. And this is the colored version of this. We are going to make something like that on Friday. Saturday, we are going to make that big peacock mandala. And Sunday again, one Zentangle session. Bye-bye. See you next week. Have a good week.